Hey guys, it's uh, April 9th and we're about 5.30 or uh, maybe close to 6 in the afternoon, I'm guessing. And we got the first uh, uh, proof test uh, running for our uh, firewood heat treatment facility here. And we got a couple of 55 gallon drums built right into that door. And uh, we got the fire going in it right now and we got uh, plenty of plenty of heat going in there. I've measured the uh, sidewalls at about two, well, one, 125, 150, and um, the barrels are running around 500 degrees on the inside from what I can, but best I can uh, figure there with a with one of those uh, infrared riggies there, but uh, we're burning the uh, junk that we make on the uh, uh, screen in from the firewood. So what we did for a roof there is we, uh, let me show you here. We got a couple of these, couple panels of this hog panel, this four uh, four inch heavy wire stuff there. They come in 20 foot sections. We got that down to tractor supply, and uh, pretty pretty heavy stuff. In fact, we're going to use this uh, also for our uh, baskets inside for uh, putting wood in it and uh, drying once we get get fired up. This is the first initial test that we've really done with any wood in there. Carl worked up some uh, green pine there earlier this afternoon and uh, threw that in there, put some pallets down in there and just threw it on top of it and see what she's going to do after a couple of days of getting roasted in there. So uh, we did the uh, go back to the roof again. So I'll show you right on the corner here. We made these arches out of that, bowed that up and we uh, stapled that to these pieces of one by sixes here and then on the top or underneath there we put these fur and strips tied them on and then um, we screwed the, the these panels right down to the fur and strips there so everything held right in place pretty good not the neatest job in the world we're trying to close things in a little bit trying to get some uh, holes here for it to breathe and I'm guessing that's 130 degrees coming out of those little holes there. And uh, I measured the barrel and that's running around 600. Uh, but uh, no, it's uh, been on for about an hour and a half now. And uh, we started around four. That well, must be maybe two hours into it. So uh, we got a fan going on the inside, just an old box fan. Not sure how well that's going to hold up to the heat, but uh, oh yeah, that's yeah, that, that's that's nice. You get the brush away from it so it don't catch on fire. Okay, so you can hear that rattling and banging in there, and it's plenty warm coming out of here. That's uh, that's a lot of heat in there. So got an end wall, and you can see that wire. How that's formed around there. It, it really came out pretty good on the. It's not a perfect dark, so everything kind of just has to match for what it is. But um, I don't know if I can get any focus inside of there without any light. But that's about what she looks like there. When I uh, get going here, all. Uh, Pull the one tomorrow. I'll probably pull this part, see what it, see what the wood looks like in there, and um, I'm going to run it for a, oh, probably another hour or so, and then uh, just put in a couple of nice chunks of wood, let her go through the night, and burn itself out, and we'll see what it looks like in the morning. But uh, I don't know right now. It's burning awful nice and clean. We get this kind of stuff here, make lots of it, and that's where we're uh, putting in there for our, our firebox and let me see if I can get this door open give you a little peekaroo of that so they got some grates in there and built out of the same the same wire so I'm gonna put one of these in the garage it makes a lot of heat. Yeah, I have to back out of it a little bit here. It, that's warm, I'll tell you. Can't get too close to that. 
So that's where we are, guys. Uh, we're trying to dry wood. Carl's got his little bundling operation going, and we got plenty of stuff around here that can uh, uh, be uh, a part of the game if we wanted to. But most of the stuff I've got right now is all dry, anyhow. That's a the start of our stockpile for the fall. We uh, put up a few hundred cord of that stuff and got another pile that goes down here buying the greenhouse that still needs attention. And uh, we got some awful nice logs that come in here that during the winter and fall there. So this, that's, this here is one of five decks. I'll give you a little walkie through on that. We've got five of these piles or these uh, log decks. Yeah, we're working them down. So I'm guessing there's, yeah, maybe a hundred cord in this. And then over on the other side, we got uh, some over there too. It's most, a lot of that's just already dry. So uh, that's what we're working up now. It's been a couple, three years. But uh, yeah, we got quite a quite a charge of wood to go through, but that's good. And you got some cleanup. Springtime. We're just getting through mud season now. So you can see that the we had some little bit of ruts in here, not too bad, but the log trucks have still been coming in and out. And uh, got two loads in yesterday. So we don't want to we don't want to get ourselves in a spot where we don't have any wood again already been through that so I'm hoping to be through most of that stuff there by tomorrow uh, it'd be nice if we could really use this as our fuel but so far it's doing doing pretty darn good so that's about it for now I'll do uh, shoot some temperatures uh, tomorrow and see what we got going in there and uh, over and out that's it for the evening